Formal dresses for homecoming, prom, and black tie events can be expensive. Several families don't have extra bucks in their budget to spend. That's why a community closet inside First United Methodist Church of Ozark is ready to help. News 4's Kinsley Sinners went to this blessed dress. Here's how this ministry is giving back to young women across the area. Over the past two school years, we've helped over 70 young women find dresses and, you know, saving those families on average over $60,000. The co-chair of this blessed dress, PC Finn, sees the dollars families have saved firsthand. I did some research last year for a grant. I mean, the average price for a formal gown is about $600 before alterations. That's a lot for even <laughs> for a, a middle class family to afford. This ministry is ready to help young women get ready for their formal events at no cost. Oh, that was pretty. I like the lake trail. It all started back in 2019. Today, dress aisles of rhinestones and satin fill the racks. They deserve to find that perfect dress that they feel beautiful in for their special night. Melissa Peralt is the chair of this blessed dress. She knows what it's like to fall on hard times financially. My father passed away when I was young, so um, I do know what it's like um, for a family to be financially burdened. She has two daughters. While looking through their closets one day, it hit her. I see all these dresses that have been worn once, and I thought, what a waste. The idea just kind of popped in my head. Girls who come in may not be able to go to their events without this closet. Finding that perfect dress is kind of an integral part of a young woman's life. These dresses all have their own story. The um, executives at my company um, found this dress at a thrift shop and it has been borrowed and returned by three young ladies and I just think it is so beautiful and I'm so just I'm so grateful. This blessed dress provides dresses, shoes and accessories before being taken home. Each dress is wrapped up for the full boutique experience. We pray over it as we're wrapping it. We pray specifically for the young lady who will be wearing the dress. And we pray that the that a seed will be planted in her heart, that she knows that she's loved. And after we're done wrapping it, we put this little tag on it, letting them know that their dress was prayed over specifically for them. Each girl that walks out of here doesn't just leave with new confidence in a dress, but they also take home a goodie bag with a handwritten note, lip gloss, mints, and of course, a devotion. We're the hands and feet of Christ. Part of that, that goal, is to meet the needs of families. They truly hope young women and girls leave their store feeling special or blessed even. We want every young lady to feel loved and beautiful and worthy. These women beam with gratitude to offer this ministry. The blessings go far beyond high school prom. We do military balls, church formals. We have proms for individuals with special needs in our community, such as Tim Tebow Night to Shine or the Joy Prom. They are reminded they can't do it without you. The individuals in our community just come out and donate and are so generous and we're very thankful for that. It's really special just to see the smile, smiles on these young girls and women's faces. Peralt also wants to thank her church for allowing this space for the dress ministry to grow. It's all a blessing in disguise. In Ozark, highlighting those who give back to the Wiregrass. I'm Kinsley Centers, your hometown news leader. Clients can keep the dresses, but many times girls bring them back with more to donate. Some of them have also come back out to volunteer in the closet to give back to the mission that gave to them. Right now, the ministry carries up to a size 30 and 5X. They are looking to extend, so they are asking for your donations. They also need velvet hangers, shoes, and jewelry.